Welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't see my first ever YouTube video that I did on this channel, go and check it out because it is the 80 plus books I got for my birthday. It is the beautiful haul. Also, you must be wondering, 80 books is really hard to like choose from, isn't it? For like your next video, like you're all, like you're so excited about all of the books. Yes. I'm very excited about all of the books and it's really hard to choose from. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I am very, very excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a Hunger Games reaping of my TBR for October. And welcome my cute little pottery of bad paint TBR jar. Applause. Now, I did not come up with this idea at all. The beautiful creator on TikTok that came up with this idea, I have linked down below. Her name is Ainsley, and I will put her name somewhere on the screen. Is it Ainsley or Ash? Wait. Literally watching her videos this morning. It is. It's Ainsley. I thought so. So please go check out her account because she started this hunger reaping thing. And I think it is such an incredibly fun idea and fun way to pick your TBR. So before we get into the video, I will say... 80 books is a lot so I haven't put down every single book because I did that last month and because I did that last month I have still not read which is on I meant to read I meant to read the binding 13 that's keeping 13 but the other one's there I meant to be reading binding 13 for this month these are like six eight hundred pages I'm not gonna finish this okay and it's gonna go over to October and that is a very big read so with that being said, I picked four books out of each genre. So we have thriller, we have fantasy, and we have romance. And I am so freaking excited. I've written down all of the names on these cute little pieces of paper. And by each genre, we are going to be putting them in this very badly painted TBR jar, picking them out. And this beautiful, beautiful butterfly jar is going to be picking what I'm going to be reading for October. Hunger Games reaping style. I did this last month on TikTok Live and I had so much fun with it. I've been literally counting down the days of this month of September so that I could do it again for October. And I haven't even finished reading all of my TBR stuff for September. But that is okay. So off we go with the Hunger Games reaping. And first up, sector one is thriller. I should explain this better. So I've got four books in each category and I'm going to pick out one book out of each genre to read for the month. Like I said, I have the Binding 13 books to get through. They're huge. I know that I'm not going to get through it if I pick like two books from each genre. But I have picked four of my most anticipated reads for each genre. And for Thriller, we have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Never Lie by Frida McFadden, War Dear by Frida McFadden, and The Perfect Sun by Frida McFadden. Now you might be picking up on a trend here that I may like Frida McFadden. Yes, I do, okay? But with that being said, I can't pick which one. So let's go off to the TBR show. Drum roll, please, for the pottery TBR jar. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so we gotta shake that really well because there's only four in there. Now, the thriller book. I'm going, I feel like that's wrong. Oh my god, I hate intuition. Now, the thriller book that I'm going to be reading in the month of October is. Drum roll, please. Now, look, three out of four of the books were Freedom McFadden, so obviously I was going to get a Freedom McFadden book, but I'm glad that it's never lie. Newlyweds Trisha and Ethan are searching for the house of their dreams, but when they visit the remote manor that once belonged to Dr. Adrian Hale, a renowned psychiatrist who vanished without a trace four years earlier, a violent winter storm traps them at the estate with no chance of escape until the blizzard comes to an end. That sounds so good. I'm really glad. I was kind of like low-key hoping for the perfect sun, but this is so good. I'm going to keep these little slips for next month because trust me, they will be in the next one's reaping. Do I'm going to leave fantasy for last because fantasy at the moment is my favorite genre. So let's do romance. Like I said, keep in mind, I have to read Binding 13 series this month. So if that big ass thick juicy book gets chosen... Oh my god. Um, I am excited to read this. This is the Mindfuck series. All I know about it is, I didn't know this until recently, but it is a dark romance book. It is about a detective that is tracking down a serial killer 
and he doesn't know that he's dating the said serial killer. Like that instantly sold me. Someone said that on TikTok and I just went, add to cart. Um, this is books one through five in here. So I mean, technically if it gets pulled, I can read book one, but I binge stuff. Like I know I'm just gonna read this. Very exciting. Then we have the Dead Romantics, which I put in because I also have the seven year slip. They're both by the same, same author, by the way. I know nothing about either of these. I would love to read the Dead Romantics before the seven year slip just because it became before it. And people speak both highly about both books, but I think the seven year slip will win out. And I always like leaving the best book of an author's for last, but we'll see, we'll see. And then we have Better Than The Movies. This is by Lynn Painter, which I'm very excited for because someone compared it to the Duff movie and I love the Duff movie. Instant add to cart. So without further ado, let's pick up our trusty TBR jar and see who is the winner of the book romance I'm gonna read this month. That didn't make any sense, but that's okay. the trusty tbr jar now we are picking romance now drum roll please Lola shake her up i hope none just flew out okay oh my god again the intuition thing like i always like touch when i'm like no 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 okay got it okay i'm gonna laugh so hard if i pick the mind like serious drum roll please the romance book that i am reading in the month of october is Like I said, I'm going into this completely blind, but apparently it is such a cute romance book and it has been compared to the Duff and I just adored the Duff movie so much, like, so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Ah! This is so exciting! Okay. Romance book has been selected. Now we're moving on to the fantasy. I love when it picks a book that you want. And that was intuition too, because I kept picking them up and I was like, no, 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 no. And then I got that one. Okay, so these are the four romantic books that I have selected for this month to go into the Hunger Games reaping. The first book that we have is Divine Rivals, which low-key I'm kind of hoping that it gets selected because I really want to jump on the bandwagon. Everyone is talking about this. Um, everyone has been... Not comparing it to, it's been in the same league height-wise on book talk as um, Fourth Wing, and I loved Fourth Wing. Like, absolutely loved it. I don't know a lot about it. I know that there's a tight writer. I know that there's a god, and I know that she's writing to a man, which I'm pretty sure she thinks she's writing to her brother or something. I actually really don't know. Um, but I hope that Divine Rivals gets selected. Then we have this series. Out of all of these series. I would hope that the prison healer gets selected because everyone is talking about this trilogy. Again, I don't know much about it and I purely want it selected because the next two books are actually quite big series and I'm not one that can really start a series and then stop. It usually takes a lot of willpower and I've got a lot of books that I want to read. So the next book is Akane, also by Lynette Nonni. Again, these are series that I so, so badly want to read. And this is why I'm also doing the Reaping for Fantasy. Because I keep putting it off because I'm like, no, these are like really big series. It will take me like a month or two to get through them. And then I won't be able to read anything else. But with that being said, like I eye this book on my shelf daily. Like I want to read this series so bad. The only reason why I'm putting it off is because I need someone else to choose for me. Like I need someone to be like, Mads, it's okay. Just go do the series. The TBR jar will do that for me. Then another series we have The Vampire Academy, which isn't as big, but I'm also very excited for this one. I got into reading very late in life. So I'm going through my 2010 like just like era of like Hunger Games, Vampire Vampire Diaries, <laughs> Hunger Games, Vampire Academy, Twilight, Maze Runner, Divergent. Like I'm reading all of the books that I would have loved when I was younger. I love vampire. I just love vampires. I'm really excited for this, honestly. My younger self is like giggling and like kicking her feet, like really, really excited. And Vampire Academy, I mean, like the font is quite big and the pages are like semi smallish. Now this series is not in my reaping. I would just like to bring that up for those that don't know. I'm actually an author and I wrote a book. She is a romanticy and her name is Heir of Broken Fate. And I wish that the camera would actually focus on her because her cover is beautiful. Look at how freaking gorgeous, beautiful, stunning she is. Like she is so beautiful. 
just so beautiful. And before you fast forward, she is a fae, enemies to lovers, slow burn, one bed trope, who did this to you, elemental magic, dragons, griffins, mermaids, like she has everything you want and more in a romance. See? It is about a princess that runs away from her kingdom because her king, the father, is a sadistic bastard. We don't like him. Runs away to the Fae people to ask them for help for her oppressed people. Um, I just find out that they need her help more and she has to save not only their entire Fae race but magic itself. I really, like, I wrote it. I put my entire heart and soul into this. She's on Amazon and Kindle Unlimited worldwide. So please go check her out if that sounds up your alley. If you think that we have similar book tastes, then you will most likely like this. Please go check her out and please go read her. Just thank you. And with that being said, let's get into the fantasy reaping. Sector 3. Can you love fantasy? Okay. Oh my god, I'm scared for this one. I'm, okay. I got it. I wasn't like, okay, I got it. I wasn't like feeling any of them. Okay. Oh my god, this is the one that I'm scared for the most because of the series. Okay. <sighs> Drum roll please, because the fantasy book that has been selected for Sector 3 Reaping is... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh no go away from this and just like Divine Rivals because it has one book. Oh, no. We have Akane, which please don't take my reaction as a bad one. I cannot describe to you how excited I am to read this series. Um, I actually didn't hear about it on social media or anything. I was drawn to it in the bookstore. I read the back and I just fell in love. I know I'm going to love this series, but there's so many books in this series. So that's why I'm like, uh it's daunting. But yay! Very excited. Oh, I feel like switching it out for Divine Rivals, but we're not going to do that. That's the entire point of the reaping. I had to have someone tell me to read this series. Okay. So we will read this series. I know I will love it. Maybe I'll end up hating it and I won't read past the first book. Who knows? Okay, and those are the three books I have selected to read in the month of August. Thank you to the Hunger Games Reaping for selecting the beautiful trusty butterfly TBR pot. And also, I would like to say a thank you to Ainsley because her idea of this was so freaking cute and I love it so much. And I hope that you guys start doing this too because Hunger Games Reaping for your TBR is so fun. So again, we have Never Lie by Freedom McFadden, Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter, and then we have Ikane by Lynette Nonny come back at the end of the month to see if I actually stuck to it. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making it. And come back at the end of the month to see if I actually read any of these. Okay. Love you. Bye.